Oh okay. no, <laughs> so mean. I have an anecdote to immediately remove all worry from you. I was trying to metagame this game. Welcome back to Rank Roulette Season 3, Reign of the Swarm. After two Zerg champions back to back, it's time for the other races to step up and take their crown. In Rank Roulette we invite various pro players and content creators to compete against one another in guessing your ranks. The rules are simple. There are four rounds with one replay each sent in by the community. After each round, both players have to take a secret guess. The further your guess is off, the more points you get. Whoever has least points in the end, wins. But our guests do not only compete against Harstam but also against one another to get invited back into the playoffs at the end of the season and fight for the prize money. Today's guest is king of the campaign and had to explain to Harstam that axolotls are real animals. Give it up for Giant Grand Gaming. And on the other side, the only captain in the world who does not know his amphibians correctly, it's Harstam. So, I don't know much about ZVZ. How much do you actually play the... Yeah, I know you're a big man on the campaign and the co-op stuff, but how big are you on like the actual, you know, the real game as we call it? <laughs> I have like 20,000 games played, but none in the last three years. Oh, okay. But the, the, the base knowledge is still there. Do you watch a little or no? Oh yeah, I watch all the time. Oh, sick. Like, I can tell that... Okay, this is... Th I mean, it's a ZVZ fight. No Bailing Nest. A lot of gas for the opponent. Yeah, the, the, the Ling movement Double is tight, Evo. though. Yeah, yeah the Ling movement is pretty good. Especially yeah, by just... the red player. I, I like that Ling movement. Yeah, definitely. It's just weird that nobody's going for a Bane Nest. Yeah, and no wall with the Evo Chamber either. Yeah, and... definitely. Especially when the choke's really small on this map. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a, it's a two-building wall. Technically, if you put a queen in between, so it would have been it would have been free. Twenty one workers as well at four thirty six, and yeah, also but ZVZ. I mean, yeah, yeah, but no bailing. That's I, that one's messing me up. It's okay. That carapace upgrades on the way. That's gonna really help. <laughs> but honestly, if it finishes, it will be great. The, the problem true, might as be as long as finishing. no one knows what a roach is. Classic macro hatch in the main on three bases. Oh, bailing the speeds. Bands. Finally. The bailing speed isn't that standard though, and he has 1-1 one, one upgrades as well. Red is following this up with a Spire. This oh, is he's gonna one plus 3 Carapace! Games. This is amazing! He's gonna take no damage from these Mutas. I know that's the opponent, and he's got 55 supply, so he's dead. But you know what? He's, the bounce is gonna do nothing. Yeah, the bounce gets reduced real nice by those plus 3 Carapace once it finally finishes. Oh, he's gonna get one Ultra and it's just gonna eliminate him. It's actually sick. If you have like tunneling claws of roaches with plus two carapace, the Mutas deal negative damage with the bounce. That's awesome. Ooh. Tricky okay. first game here, uh, Mr. Games. Grant. <laughs> <laughs> what are your thoughts here? Oh, uh, man. So they were definitely banking a lot at the end, even though they weren't maxed. It was very funky decision making, but they had the baseline mechanics. And I don't know when people get baseline mechanics. That's, I mean, okay, they don't have baseline mechanics. But they, had, they can at least, they can make Zerglings and that's fairly larva intensive. And I think at some point I saw the red Zerg player split off links from the other group. Using the alt hot key, that is an advanced mm, move. And it looked smooth. Like, most of the movement was smooth, but the decision making, uh, the macro, and the, the overall composition made no sense. It felt like these, both of these players kind of lived in a vacuum separate from the rest of the world. You know, where they've just been playing against each other, figuring out what is best, and they've never watched a pro game in their life. That's kind of what it looked like, because both of their styles were really odd. Getting like Bane Link speed in ZVZ is not a thing. And then the other player went, well, to, to Evo, no Bane Link Nest, no third e initially. This is a tricky one, Grant. I'm a... Yeah, it really... I mean, so what I've seen when I've watched the other VODs of this is that sometimes in those mid-tiers, you have a person that knows like 30% of the game really decently and has no idea what's going on in the other 70%. But the problem is I have no idea where to throw that dart. You, you, you want to have a shot one. at it? I mean, we'll have to eventually. 
Let, let's do it. Let, let's, let's, let's send in our answers. So I want to ask one thing first. Sure, These sure. are replays that are sent to you, right? From your viewers? Yeah, so we're allowed to make fun of them. But at the same time, I'm like really scared that you're going to have, I'm going to be like, oh, this guy's silver too. And he's actually like diamond. I'm just going to be like, oh, okay. no. <laughs> so mean. I have an anecdote to immediately remove all worry from you. We once had a replay between two high grandmasters, Gerald and Goblin. So like actual <laughs> pro players in, in Europe. And I said that they were masters three. So do not worry <laughs> at all. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, the Protoss players. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> that should ease your mind a little bit. All right, I send in my answer. I did too. Okay, uh, I'll start as I'm the host. I went for Diamond 3. I went for Diamond 2. Ooh, okay, yeah. I mean, fairly decent mechanics, right? Just weird build orders, but I feel like with these mechanics, there's no way they're going to be stuck in plat. Definitely. All right. Hamster, spin the wheel. <laughs> nice! Wait, do, oh, is the wheel on the link? I think I minimized it because I was looking at you. <laughs> and the oh <wheel> no. Was... <laughs> 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 well, by my happiness, you could have seen that it is indeed Diamond 3. But you missed the entire animation. That's okay as well. There's no problem I've seen with that, the right? I didn't yeah. know it was in the same <laughs> link. That's all good, buddy. It happens to the best. Beautiful Listen, stuff. I want to. I want to see the person I'm talking to. I minimize. Yeah, it's I'm bad at my job. It's okay. Happens to the best. The problem about PvP is everyone's an idiot. <laughs> I hate combat, buddy. Oh no, I'm a Protoss player too. <laughs> That's why I hate the matchup. <laughs> <laughs> Still combat. We're already getting abused enough by the other races. We can't have <laughs> infighting as well. Like, it's a PvP. The yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the point. Yeah. No. Ooh, this is some uh, nice idling of the oracle. That's uh, he, well, you got to get the energy. It takes twenty-five to turn that beam on. So if you get a little bit more, you can shoot more probes. <laughs> it was a strategical choice here, not a not an error. There is a little bit of info in this, by the way. We saw the decal of Rainer spinning around the nexus. So at least mm. one of the players is aware of professional StarCraft. This kind of eliminates bronze. Yeah, definitely eliminates bronze. The fact that they're using a spellcaster also eliminates bronze. <laughs> and hotkeys. <laughs> or well, at least... Ooh, Maybe. That, was, that was actual Ooh. control. It's not good control, but it was control. That... And he knows that killing workers is really strong, so... Probably Grandmaster. Ooh. Battery to deal with oracles as well. Like, I feel like the... Oh, the, that... Okay, that is something I don't think you see at the low levels. Yeah, yeah, the ideas are high level. It really feels like that. And don't forget that this is NA as well, so the bar's already a little lower than it usually is. Trying to take... I mean, there's Blink Micro. Yeah, I, I feel like a lot of the... Like I said, the thoughts are good, but then the execution sometimes is a bit lacking. You know, the, the, the Oracle yeah, control, absolutely. the Blink control... Man, that was a good forward blink, honestly. Oh, can he use disruptors? I and he didn't shoot his own was... units. That is true. I don't think he was microing the ball, though. No. This is one hell of a battery position. I've never seen that. It seems like it's great. It worked out now. He built it at the start as well. I saw it there when the Oracle initially flew in. This was a really tricky one. It's obviously that, that really they're... two minutes? Yeah, two minutes fly by when you're having the time of wow. your life with your new best friend, Grant. That's how that it works. That is brutal. Yeah. Uh, yeah, better game knowledge, right, than last game. Mm. Execution? Was was it better or was it worse? Unit control? I mean, it's so hard to tell when it's mere matchups, you know? First two adepts came in for free. The Oracle got rallied into nothingness, then died. But a Stasis Ward got used. That's a that's a hotkey that I don't think your average Platinum player knows. Yeah, and I mean, they were doing that great play of saving the energy for the Oracle. That was that was ah. top tier. Yeah, yeah, but there, that's just, you know, that's a rally. And then your Adepts accidentally get in. And you didn't think that was going to happen. So you didn't mentally prepare for you having to micro the Adepts. Even at higher levels, this could happen. I'm... I'm kind of defending that move there. Uh, I, 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 I can empathize with that. I feel like yeah, this it was... kind of felt like it was some people that know what they're supposed to do and just didn't have the APM to do it. Yeah. And one of them had Rainer spinning around the Nexus, which also 
is a clear indicator of at least having good taste in pro players. That is true. All right. I, th I think I'm ready to send it. Are you? Yeah, I'll give it a go. All right. Let's... I think I've made a mistake. All right. You can reveal your mistake. No, I, I'm all in. You're all in. T tell us. What all do you have? All good Protoss players make a terrible mistake and then go all in. That is what you got to do. <laughs> what, what did you get? I guessed Masters 2. Woo. Then you're in good company with the mistake because I also guessed Masters 2. Why do you think it's a mistake? I, well, I mean, okay. Like, I, what MMR is Masters? Okay, I don't know what the MMR brackets are. I probably uh, should have figured that out first. Ne neither do I. You go by gut feeling when it comes to leaks. You look at something and then whatever your gut tells you, that's how I usually do it. The more Fair info that have, you have, the more likely you're, you're about to make mistakes. Like overthinking is always bad in this game. I haven't thought a single thought in three seasons and I'm doing fantastic. <laughs> so you should follow my lead. I'm, Masters 2, honestly, Let's just spin the wheel, all right? Let's just let's just see good. what we get. Let's just see what we get. I have a very good feeling about this, though. It's not I Grandmaster. Okay. It might be too low, though. It might be Masters One. That's no my way. one. It can't be Masters One. No, the the wheel's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Can we spin it again? <laughs> Reverse the video, <laughs> hamster. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, all of a sudden I thought to myself, it's America, and also it just. There was something slightly too good about it. The lower end of Masters 1 is what it felt like. It really just a gut feeling. I don't even know what MMR is. It could be 5K, it could be 4K, but... It's not 5K. No, it's not? No. Uh, 5K it, on, on NA, I think, oh, is Grandmaster. Oh, are you Master. saying... The, no, I'm saying these guys are not 5K. I don't know what Masters 1 is. <laughs> <laughs> you just know this is not what 5K is. No, okay. I have a vision in my head of 5K, and it definitely... Huh, though they did kill work, maybe. It is North Perhaps. America. Uh, I mean, we, we both are one-off, so pretty decent score so far. I mean, we're actually doing fantastic here. Uh, good stuff. So we're just doing every rear matchup today. Yeah. Is that the theme of the season? That's not the theme of the season. It's the, the, the theme of the episode. Oh, you're Mr. just Games. making me miserable. Okay, what's the fourth one? Is yeah. it random versus random? That's going to be awesome. I'm not quite sure if we have one of those, but... It is a possibility. Okay, what is this? One one gas expand oh, against SCDs. versus three racks. <laughs> this could be one of my games. I used to hate TVT so much that I would three racks every game, stim in, and hope that the tanks would be unseached. <laughs> it didn't work very often. <laughs> At a twenty-two percent win rate. <laughs> well, the tank is sieged, and the other guy's three racks. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> Not again. It so also only is... worked once. Yeah, go Seven ahead. minutes, a hundred supply, and nothing has happened. He hasn't even scouted. No, he has scouted. But that's it. There's, there's no the other aggression. Yeah. He saw this was an eco build for his opponent. He's ready to go. Yeah. Sometimes no more, less is more. Oh, here's the three racks. Yeah, <laughs> this is my old race. Uh huh. The upgrades are way better for blue, no? Or did one one also just finish for red? I think so, actually. Yeah, it's just he's not getting one or two two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, this is not a fight that, uh, that Blue can take now. No, the three racks just... it doesn't do it, man. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta get those tanks. <laughs> Can't let him put it down. It's a good move forward. First seven Siege minutes out. empty, though. Yeah, I, yeah. yeah I, 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 they also have the right composition, or at least Red has the right composition, but without the Vikings, right? This is if, like... If it's too low, they just go battle cruisers, right? Hmm... Additional so, this has to be at least not horrible. We, we've seen some move commands forwards, like this type of like little stutter stepping. That feels relatively high level, like there's no terrible move commands, you know, no major loss of DPS. This actually is yeah. a really tricky replay. But it's at what cost, Harstom? It, I mean, there was a lot of money in that bank at the end. And in the middle, and in the beginning. Yeah, but... Yeah, and nothing happened as well. Sometimes you see people float 2k minerals, but then if the early game was very, you know, very dynamic, that makes some sense. But I'm not even sure if any of them build a Reaper. And if they did, they didn't really harass with it. There was no Hellions, no Ravens, which the Raven is a staple of TVT. Vikings are a staple of TVT. Like what? They were missing, I feel like, some of the basic ingredients, you know? It's like they were trying to make a tomato soup. One of the guys skipped the tomatoes. And the other one skipped like 
the water. Do you add water in tomato soup or is it uh, well, the water first from of all, tomatoes, tomatoes are mostly water? But I would yeah, say so it's I actually the opposite added. where, I mean, they got the Marines and the tanks. That's the tomato. No, no, right? no. They didn't it's... get the one guy didn't get tanks. One guy didn't. Get oh, that tanks. is true. He was pure Marine. Accent. Yeah, that was the guy who forgot the <laughs> for, forgot the tomatoes. In the tomato okay, he forgot the tomatoes. He had water yeah, soup. Yeah. The other yeah, guy just had tomatoes. Yeah. He kind of forgot the salt, pepper or whatever else you put in tomato soup. It would, this would be a more helpful analogy if we actually knew what was in tomato <laughs> soup. <laughs> so the StarCraft cooking show crossover is not going to happen anytime soon. <laughs> Did not manage to secure the funding for that. <laughs> well, actually, they're Terran, so they already got the salt. That's pretty good. Uh, that's true. That's true. They right. got some of the ingredients. Um, honest to God, though, this is worse than the last game. But the control yeah. was better than the first game. The stutter stepping felt slightly better. In my mind, also, the compositions were still a little more to, like, closer to reality than in that first game that we saw. But I mean, I, I think that it's tough to compare ZVZ and TVT, though, because ZVZ is so fast. I mean, mm. it's like saying that this guy followed all the all the laws while driving down the street, right? But the other guy is driving his NASCAR car. And yeah, he's going to end up off the road because he's going 7 trillion miles an hour. Yeah, that's good. Actually, yeah, nothing happened in the TVT whatsoever. And also, Terrans naturally built the Marines. That's the first unit you build. Right. And then the tank, they also all build tanks because they like, you know, these are very They're basic. Cool. Yeah, RTS units. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, you, you, yeah. Yeah, that's true. And it was a calm game, but the stutter stepping is what gets me. You know that? I see them stutter step and I'm like, ooh, that looked kind of tight. Like, you know, there was no... Often if you have worse players, they stutter step, they move too far and they lose so much yeah. damage output. But this was this was solid. You, you want to give it a try and shoot it? Uh, I mean, oh, this is going to be the one where we stop doing well, I think. Or at least I'm going to stop doing well. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, you've tricked me. You keep saying that they're doing well, and I didn't think they did. Oh. This I've been known game, to trick people it? before, so you shouldn't listen too much to me. Usually when I try to trick people, though, I end up being correct and then trick myself. It's a, a classic move. Wait, no, this is a double bait now, isn't it? Oh. You never I'm so it. stupid that your tricks aren't going to work, though. That's the plan. <laughs> <laughs> too dumb to get them. <laughs> All right. All right. Alright, I'll uh I'll start again. Uh I went for platinum one. I went for gold two. Ooh. That's very low. Why? I gold know. Two? Ooh, I think that's off. The stutter stepping, man. I I think that you're reading a lot into the one fight that we saw. No, it's the, the, the you even mentioned it yourself. He's sieging the tanks, and they were sieging. Oh, tight. that is right. They he sieged back the, tanks. To the tank. Yeah. But his opponent didn't even build tanks. Yeah, but his opponent lost as well, so... <laughs> okay, that is true. <laughs> All right, Hamster. I, I think I just want to know what it is. Let's spin, spin this bad boy. Whew. Yeah! Oh. Well... Th that's a Platinum 1, right? Did, it, did I misread? I, I couldn't quite... It's... Oh. Platinum one. Yeah, he's beautiful. Look at that. Yeah, I, the tanks and the stutter stepping. I tried to tell you. I tried to tell you the stutter stepping, Grant. Okay, I'm going to be honest about what was happening here. I was trying to metagame this game, and I didn't think you'd do three of the higher ranks in a row. I thought there'd be a mix-up. But Platinum counts as one of the higher ranks now? Well, I mean, no, I mean, like, it was just, like, in sequential order. It was not higher ranks, but it was Diamond, then Masters, then Plat, and I thought there'd be a space in between, you know? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Because what are you going to do? Now do you go gold? You can't it's do possible. That. You never, You never know what, what Hamster does with these things. I think he just usually just rolls a dice or flips a coin. So it's technically possible that we get, like, another Plat or another Diamond. I have no clue. That's the entire point. If it's random, then it's too difficult to predict. Never met yeah, that game, uh, the hamster. Listen, I said I'm dumb, and I was trying to <laughs> I was trying to meta game against apparently a coin flip. I was doing the best, man. You won't be the first, and you definitely won't be the last. <laughs> Listen, today has been three matchups, and then the one matchup I don't play. Like, <laughs> I'm a Protoss player, okay? I don't okay, know I'll, any of this. I, I'll, I'll help you out, okay? I'll help you out. Look at this: oh, a two rex oh. opener with proper SEV cuts in there. 
Now yeah. take a look at this Reaper micro. Two grenades at the same time. Wasn't brilliant. Reapers aren't stacked up together. And the stutter step isn't as good. Yeah, but, but look at that drone not micro. I mean, there we go. Ooh, he pulled back some Ooh. of the drones. Yeah, he's doing all right. Um, I don't this... think this is beyond. No. <laughs> is he gonna is he gonna expo off of this, or he's just banking up a lot of money? He hasn't yeah, built I... workers. Okay. He definitely knows the unit that he likes. Yeah, and he's just going to stick with that. But even but there, the control... cheesing. The control there isn't super tight either, you know? <clears throat> like, we... Like, what is this? He just threw six grenades on the same spot? I think he has the a grenade is, on rapid fire. The thing is, though, whenever you're being super aggressive at the low leagues, you're always going to get... Oh my goodness! Whoa, whoa, whoa! He lit... Oh. <laughs> I thought the barracks lit for high ground vision with big brain. But he couldn't finish a wall off with 800 minerals. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering where the sentence was gonna go, but I like that. <laughs> and also didn't manage to lift the other barracks in time. He might actually lose the game because it's burning to burn. Oh, or his building I mean, burn. His opponent has no workers. I'm just more invested in who wins, honestly. Well, it's a draw, at least, right? I, at least. Taren, at least as a draw, yeah. Terran can do this, though. I believe in him. Yeah, this is a win. Oh, wait, no, this is opponent. No, this is Zerg is the person that submitted. So oh. go Zerg, Harstam man. No, no, no. We don't cheer for our viewers. Oh, he's You're not good. my viewer, though. Yeah. He has oh. taste. All right. Well, the Terran won this game. That is something, at least. Um, do they submit lost games often? Very rare. I think usually like 99% is wins. People are. Oh. Yeah, they, they are. They are like that. I don't know submitted. who this is, but you're a big man. I really yeah. appreciate that. Like, Especially to a cheese like this as well. It, it must hurt. Yeah. Honestly, mad respect. Mad respect. What do we think uh, about the mad respect for the Reapers, though? The control there. I'm not quite sure where to put it, honestly. It, it, it felt okay-ish, but it not... It felt like someone that watched Bion <laughs> and then hasn't played in five years. Because last time he saw was when Bion won the World Championship. I guess that's more than five years ago. 2016, yeah. Yeah. Years, yeah. And he was just like, yeah, that's cool. And then he took a nice little break. He came back and he's like, I'm going to do that. And he did his best, but he forgot to build the wall. The, the build order, though, still kind of was tight as well. Like he cut workers, but looked to be the, the correct timing. I'm sure it's There's cutting workers and there's forgetting workers. Nah, <laughs> I, I don't know. It felt like a cut to me. It could have been either. He forgot a lot of things after. I'll give you that. He forgot the wall, forgot the macro. You know, no, he probably could have double expanded at some point with the money he was floating. But Could have walled off with those two orbitals, yeah. <laughs> I could have had a planetary in the main if he wanted to. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's, it's difficult because the Zerg control pulled individual drones back at some point. But then the, the link control wasn't good. There was no kiting with the queen, no roaches as a response, no extra queens either, no spine crawler. Like, a, a very underwhelming response. And I'm extremely His initial confused. response was also nothing. He literally just sat there and lost a couple of drones at the beginning. And that's, uh, the, the, what could he have been looking at? There's not much. His Spotify playlist, probably. He did oh, not yeah. expect okay. the Reaper to pop in at that point. This happens sometimes. After you build the Queens, it's a classic time to switch your song. So I can mm. forgive that. Okay. I, yeah. You, you, you shouldn't forget how powerful changing the music is in the first two and a half minutes. Uh, That's true. You up the BPM and you play faster. That's just how it goes. That, that is how it goes. Uh, all right. I, 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 th I, think I, I think I'm ready to send it. Oh, I'm not yet. I'm. So this is a oh, really yeah. tough one. Because you you want to talk it through one more time? Just give me your thoughts. It's just... It, I think that you were saying the Reaper Micro was worse than it was. Be, and I think that even, like, semi-okay... Not, like, good players, but, you know, like, the high plat, even Diamond, will forget to build stuff while they're fighting. You know, you either build or you fight for the most part. And they were always fighting, so of course his money goes up. But, yeah... Uh, I'm just going to lose. Yeah. You ready? <laughs> uh, I'm going to stick with my plan. Okay. You, you, you can say it first. I said plat two. I said diamond two. I'm not happy with my guess though. I think I'm too high. I hope I you're just, too high. Yeah, I think I am. I just... I, 
this is, sometimes you have these games where you're not sure what division it is you know it could be diamond one two or three but with this game i legit could see it be gold and it could be masters three in my mind as well but i i don't know the early like, aggression really just people collapse under it even good players collapse under it and that then makes why it did so you much pick, harder then why did you pick plat two well because people collapsed under it both of them collapsed under it <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> if everybody collapses under it, it could be anybody. Yeah, that's true. All right. Amster, spin it. Please. Tell us. Tell us what it is. I feel like I'm way too high. I don't like this feeling. No, I think you're right. I think I should have stolen your idea. Oh, my God. What? Was that okay. gold one? That was gold one. Oh, I'm so sorry for you. That, that did not feel like... This was such a sick round as well for me. I think I had like two points. That's... That's brutal. Yeah, you were doing great. I can't believe this. Welcome How to the is that going barrel. on? This is... Oh my god. I got tricked. You know, it was it was you who tricked me as well by <laughs> saying that good people collapse under pressure. I was like, yeah, that's right. Or like, I was like, yeah, that, that build, makes sense. He had 800 minerals and didn't build yeah, a wall, man. The, the Reaper, I don't know. It's, I just started believing. I was like, this God. could build. Uh, yeah, I can't. I don't know. I just was, I was feeling it. And I kind of tricked myself as well with this, with the this Zerg. And I saw he pulled the drones at some point. I guess I should have paid more attention to the drones not moving for the first 10 seconds. Maybe he just oh, was bad one. and it wasn't Spot, uh, Shopify. Spotify. Spotify. That's the word I was looking for. Ay, 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 ay. That's actually very rough. I'm what did so you sorry. get? You had platinum two, right? I had plat two. That's pretty decent guess. It was gold one. All right. Hamster, please review our scores. You were on par with McKenning's legendary round of four points. But mm. uh, with uh, these additional six, you are ending up at a still very respectable eight points. That's like literally first place last season. Well, they have second after McKenning. But nice. uh, our guest, um, actually a very decent run and will actually take spot one, rank one for now with 12 points. Wait, are there only two people so far? Number one, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Number one, not including Harstom. <laughs> 12 points is actually only one point off playoffs last season. So it, it is a good score. It's a good score. It's a good score. Yeah. Okay, keep making it hard, please. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Give this was a very difficult. Matchups. This was a very difficult last round as well. Let's not forget about that. This last round was insane. The fact that you managed to get plat two there when it was gold one, that's a performance. See, my my strategy was to pick rank two of everything. Really? So I did strategy? every round. I, I mean, yeah, then you only work. have to think a league. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, less thinking in the spot. You can focus on what truly matters, the big picture guy. Mm -hmm. You leave the day-to-day -day just on the average. That's beautiful. Did it I work as it. well as what you did? No. <laughs> but... I have seasons of experience here, Mr. Games. It, uh, you know, we, we can't all have that. Beautiful. Fair enough, Congre Mr. Stim. <laughs> now it's time for Harstam vs. The World, the segment where you can compete against Harstam and also win real life prizes. The rules are simple. Watch the replay, click the link in the video description, guess, and try to win. Last week, we saw the Reaper get a little too much damage in the early game, with the Protoss following it up with a blink stall crawl in, which wasn't micro too well. <laughs> but despite the poor micro, in the end, the Terran still was forced to float. Oh, okay, so lots of money, Build orders that almost looked like build orders were over on Europe. That could probably mean only one thing, and that is that the rank of the of the Protoss player has to be. And now I'm thinking, Diamond Two. I'll go for Diamond Two. Locked in. Last week I went for Diamond 3, and you guys are apparently just as brilliant as I am, as you also went for Diamond 3. Kind of curious to see whether we're both right or not. Hamster, spin the wheel. There we go. Beautiful Diamond 3, a good start for me. 
and a great start for you guys as well. All right, what do we have here? Look at me, Mr. Protos with your probes. What are we doing? Walking around. Has a decal on the Nexus of a, a cardboard salad. This doesn't say a whole lot. Neither player is making a proper... Oh, no, wait. Our blue player is making a proper wall. A forge after the cyber core. That makes no sense. Okay, this wall is actually not proper at all. It's a fairly odd wall. A pro pool against this. Despite already having a gateway done. A proxy nexus. Uh. Huh. Double battery? Surely pulling pros to kill a proxy nexus is not actually ever really worth it. It's way, way better to just get units out and just defend. That's a huge investment. He recalled aggressive recall with the probes as well. And an adept and a zealot. Why is there only two stalkers three minutes and 45 seconds into the game? The weird thing is, is that the stalker control is not that bad. And pulling probes, despite it being a really bad decision, also was done pretty fluently. It's controlling the glaive or the, the shade of the adept as well. This game makes very little sense because there's micro. And mineral count is pretty high. The strategy of red is so insanely bad that it makes me want to drop it by like five leagues. But then the actual control that both players are using is really... Holy crap. This makes absolutely no sense. And it's also extremely over. So we expanded to the right side twice. Floating 1900 minerals. And we sent two Void Rays across the map, which won us the game. Like, I'm at an absolute loss right now what this... <laughs> what this actual... This actual game is. The control is way too good, which is pissing me off. Like, way too good. Like, the Oracle stay alive after revelating, their shift command clicks, batteries aren't in terrible position, but then the SimCity and the decision making... And the macro is also really, really bad. I'm honestly at a complete loss in this game. Legit at a complete loss. The only thing I'm sure of is that blue is definitely winning. Holy crap. Okay. I'm not entirely sure what it is, but I think given how bad the decision making is, Guess yourself now through the link in the video description. Thanks for watching Rank Roulette. Next week's guest actually was featured twice on IOTIS. Can you guess who it is?